All right, guys, it's Crash here one more time. Let's set up some ROM sets. First, you'll want to open up ES File Explorer. And you'll want to go to Local, Internal Storage, Android, Data, where you put your build. I put it in com.spmc.zt, the fork, files, dot sm PC and games and there's your game folders I highly suggest moving this somewhere else and I'll go over that in a minute but here's your game folders so what you want to do is you want to put some ROMs and you want to put some guys in there go out get your ROMs get your art get everything you want pretty sure a lot of you have full sets I put a zip file full of these with ES File Explorer. I'm going to extract it. I'm going to choose a path, choose the SD card, go to Android, data, com.spmc.zt, files.spmz, spmc, and go to the games folder and put it in the games folder, not in the just to get like put it there not in this folder um, I catch that mistake here in a second uh, for uh, my zip if you're doing individual I'll show you the file locations of where you put everything in there if you're piecing together a set so I just noticed that I messed up so I want to extract it I click more extract to choose path click on SD card Android data com dot s p e m c dot z t you know go in there and right here to the the games path uh, with my particular zip because it makes the NES folder I already set it up and I took this out when I did this fresh install videos for you um, I didn't have anything pre set up I deleted everything off of here and set it up throughout the night with all four of these videos at this point this should be the fourth video you've been watching and you should have your controller set up all your emulators uh, you should have game streaming running um, you will need all the emulators set up just a good rule of thumb because if I change something or the guy who makes internet archive ROM launcher changes something you will be covered um, if you have everything set up the way you want and you're done setting it up, turn off the ZT wizard so it doesn't auto update and it will never bug you again and you'll have a front end for Android um, that you can completely tailor make. Uh, and I'll show you how to start tailor making some stuff here and I'll make some further videos later on about collections and whatnot. But right now, let's talk about getting them on there. So, once this finishes, we'll go into the ROMs folder location. Up at the top, there's these little guys that you can press and go in there and change to where you've been. So I'll go in and I'll delete my little mess up that I caught. Delete that, so I have ROMs and art. And the ROMs go in the ROM folder, and all the art goes in the corresponding folders. So you got your titles, your snaps, um, your screenshots, your clear logos, put everything in corresponding folders. Uh, box front are the little boxes that you see. Put everything into titles, your fan art or whatnot in there. Snaps are screenshots and trailers are MP4s, but they don't work with this build. I don't know if I'm going to do it. But what you want to do is I suggest moving your games folder completely out of the build, which you can change later. So take your games folder and move it anywhere you want. Put it in your downloads folder so it's easy access. I have an SD card. I put it on my SD card, as you can see here. And that way you can point the build to your games folder. And that way if you update your build, um, you don't lose your games because currently... If you leave the games where they are and you update your build, it will delete your games. So at least make a backup. 
so that you don't have to do them again. All right, so let's get down to the fun part. This thing has lots of options. You'll want to go straight into system setup. But we're going to go to the toolkit real quick. And what you want to do is, if you need to switch your storage location to where you just put your ROMs, use Markle's storage switcher and follow the on-screen prompts. When you're done with it, it asks you to force close. Force close it. Don't just exit out. Force close it. Turn it off. Reboot the machine. Whatever you have to do. Then come back in and go straight into system setup. And this will populate a list of all the different guys. So, what did I do? I did those ROMs. So, if you press the square button, you can come in here and go to Edit Launcher. Now, this is where some cool, cool options are. You can edit some things. Go down to Advanced Modifications. And you can see where your ROM path is. And make sure that it's changed. So I exited out, but go down to Edit Launcher, and then if you go down to Manage ROMs, you can clear out your ROMs. There's all these different ROM options. Um, you can scrape from data, you can rescan, you can do lots of different things. Check it out. Uh, mess with it. I haven't messed with everything, but uh, clear. I'm going to clear out my old ROMs which I would suggest you do because I'm not sure if I cleared them all out of each system but you clear them out then you oh I did it so fast you press square again oh no that was showing you it was cleared out you press square again and you do add ROMs and scan new ROMs and it will scan everything and those folders that you just made full of artwork and it will populate the artwork for you <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I would suggest putting all your fan art or your screenshots that you want to use all in one folder, uh, the titles folder. So when you pick your screen, if you want to change it, if you pick everything in that is using that screen, if you change title to fan art or whatever it will pick the fan art for everything. So make sure you have them all in the same folder in their perspective folders, and it will make life easier. Now that it's done scanning the ROMs, you can go straight to the system that you want. You just gotta find it. It's pretty snappy, so you can go back and forth real quick. So you go into the system after you've added the ROMs, and a lot of the systems that have been done should auto-populate. But if they don't, don't worry. If you press to the left or up, you can access the side window. So you change view. And I've been using Core Video and Core Games 1. Both of them match each other. So now it matches with the game streaming side. And look with the little cartridges pop out. I notice my art isn't on, so I go all the way down to prep the image. And like I was saying earlier, change everything, put them all in the titles folder, and you're good to go. So I got my screenshot, I got my art, my metadata, I got little guys coming out. Um, and I should be able to just click on a game and play it. If you press square, you can edit the ROM. You can edit the assets. If you're missing any artwork, you can scroll down to the bottom here and try to scrape from these four places. Moby Games works a lot. Sometimes it doesn't scrape. Uh, you can get info updates. You can get the little controller guy, or the little cartridge guys to pop out. You can get logos, but you click on it, make sure everything's running. From all the configuration we did, look, everything's running, I can move around. 
I can exit out. I got my little, I'm, I'm digging the little cartridges. Um, you can change views. There's lots of different views in there. Let's see what else we got. So we change the view. And look at all these different views. I, I looked at them all, and the one that I liked was the one that I chose. But look, you can do that. It's got a little icons, all that good kind of stuff. There's one that has two little screens. So if you have both fan art and cutscene, or fan art and snap, which is a screenshot, you can put that in there. You can do whatever you want. Um, I want to make this build totally customizable. If you pull a different skin and set it up, let me know and we can pull that skin and we can set it up and maybe make it as like an extra install or something for this. So uh, other people can try your skin. Uh, this skin was designed for the program that we're using now. So that's why I was happy when I was able to get it to work. Uh, this is a total alpha build and everything. They stopped making the skin in 16, in Cody 16, and now they're making it again for Cody 18, which will be very cool, which I will make an update once Cody 18 hits where you can use everything, even that. If you notice right here, I actually put the game, uh, the main game, and I scraped it, and I did everything. I just put the game in here. And uh, I'm using MAME, the MAME for Droid app. And if you notice that my screen is different because I put it in a different folder. So when I changed that other one to title, it took this one off. So keep that in mind. Um, I would put them all in one folder and I would probably put them in title. But I put this one in screenshot. It's got a nice little Marvel versus Street Fighter fight. But that's pretty much it. I don't know uh, what else I can show you. Let's see. Let me set up all these systems. Oh, uh, if there's a system you don't like or you can't use on your system, you can go into, or use on your device, you can go into system and go into interface settings, configure skin, Customize home, customize menu items, and wait for this to populate. And you can remove things, you can add more things, you can change the pictures. Um, I totally want this be for you guys to make your own and be completely customizable. Uh, the Backgrounds, you can change the pictures. Um, Submenus do not work in this build, and widgets don't seem to be working, so that's okay. Uh, I'm not really worried about the main menu. I was worried about the inside. But you can remove things that you can't use. Like, if you're on a fire stick, there's no reason for you to keep the GameCube. It's not going to happen. Most things can't play in 64. If it doesn't work, just get over it. Um... Pretty much this is it. You got everything you need. Uh, don't forget, uh, you got storage switcher and here. I'm going to go through it. Continue. Yes. I want to switch it to my SD card. Find my games folder and you want to make sure that you put it in this area that your games folder is in. Press yes then you don't want to exit. You want to force close it. Just force close everything. So now that that's switched, next time around, I'll set everything up. But there you go. Have fun.